Alright, welcome to episode 4 of Time to Slide's Cold Depths from his... Ah, wow. This is bad. From his, um... Oh, dang. This name's blanking me, blanking on me right now. Deathly Lands, there we go. Time to slide Deathly Lands map, Cold Depths. And this time, I think we're gonna just investigate those two ships. We can actually see that one now. And the sun is rising. Never fail with going down in the corners. So, um, do I want to do these pillars or no? There's netherrack down there. Forget those ships, there's netherrack. Death toll zero, st zero, still at zero. That'd be cool to Iron Man this whole thing. Iron Man, my first uh, full attempt at an open world map. I tried them before, but this is it's kind of like a eh, I'll just try it, but this is more real. I don't know. That would be cool to Iron Man at all. Speaking of Iron Mans, I might do my Iron Man trial of the Black Desert again, but this time we're going to be playing in version 1.7.3 beta as it was intended, I believe. It was intended for 1.7. Ooh. Hey, hey, no. If it wasn't, 1.7 is still close enough. The only changes between that and previous versions were things like maps, um, things like pistons, but it, not things like hunger, major things like that. Um, I hit him. Perfect. So yeah, things like hunger and stuff were not in the game at that point. I was in 1.8, and that was the ma like one of the major updates compared to the Halloween uh, beta, the first beta, which is like 1.3, I think, and alpha. Oh yeah, look at what level I'm at. Thanks to the skelly grinding. And all that. I'm not really lighting up a lot. I am double torching still. And there's an example of diamonds that I find. Yep, diamonds are fairly, I don't want to say common, but much more common than normal gameplay. Alright, I won't find any more. Underground Lake. This one looks like it has stuff. go this way because I'm not really sure this void fog and hey I said this during pause and pauses live stream but I am not sure anymore if maps include void fog is intentional I know spellbound caves does 
But older maps, they do not, but they'll have it anyways. Particularly maps like Canopy Carnage 1.1, the current version of it, where the whole ground is bed fog, just because that's where the floor is in that map. It's like all these torches. So, I'm not sure if this was intended to be bedrock fog or not. The only thing we can know for certain is it was intended for it to be at the bottom of the map. But it all depends on what version it was made in. So, nothing in here. But, yeah. And then the uh, world's changing to... Um, getting like a hundred, another 128 layers above, above ground. Maybe that's a skelly. Take that out now. Here's a chest. Ooh, more spawners. Okay. Diamonds. More diamonds. This is cool. Yes, yeah, so I'll get that chest. But another thing coming out that map makers need to really worry about again. And what I think really wrecks maps like these, TTM maps, that is, is the inclusion of rare mob drops that have iron. You get iron from mobs now. Just think, that makes no sense at all. But this is, makes me happy. But mobs dropping iron... Iron is very important in a uh, CTM map, survival maps, heavily controlled on when you can get it, when you have access to it, and if all you need is to kill mobs, when mobs are at max spawn anyways, so you can get a bucket fairly early on by by like just killing a couple mobs and even if no matter how rare it is if people can have access to buckets that early they're gonna kill the mobs enough times to get the iron to get the buckets it's not a, de a deterrent in any way I think but I I hope that's either temporary or a placeholder like diamonds are in one of that 1.8 pre-releases but I'm hoping it is temporary, like they realized ladders were a dumb idea with the chain, so they fixed that in the snapshots, which fixed all the park parkour maps. So I hope he that realizes that and fixes all the survival and T CTM maps he wrecked. So that frustrates me. So two wolves. This is the progress I like. Not huge caves with no end. Like what I might be going into right now. Get diamonds and stuff. But. Yeah. Oh. Always full. Oh, cool. It is a dead end. I could get out of here. This is called cool. Blue Wool. 
And I think I might call it an episode here. I'll get out of this place for next episode. Yep. More spiders. There's nothing up there, right? No, just spawners. Alright. Blue wool. Magenta wool last episode. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Dungaunt. See ya. On second thought, that was only 10 minutes long, so... Nope, we're continue going. I thought it was more like 18, 20. And I haven't had a short episode like that in a while. So continue on. But I like these markers. Those helped out a lot. Let's make sure this is a dead end. I'm hating this double torch. Ooh. Crossfire. Two archer uh, two pairs of archers taking battle at each other between each other. Whoa, that <laughs> that's going almost sent me with this bad name. Come on now, our battle is over instantly. Alright, there we go. So cool, this was a dead end. There's an enemy up there. I do like the fact that zombies could break down wooden doors. That seems kind of cool. Um, jungle biomes, of course, are cool. What are you doing? Okay. Guess you can't get me. But I love jungle biomes. I haven't been in one yet, but I've seen them in action, seen them in videos. And they look cool. Nope, 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 nope. Stop with this double placement and torches. Whoa. That is a flat wall. There we go. Stop. Good boy. I doubt this goes anywhere, so I'll stop right here. That's just to make sure. Um could stack these. Ooh, we need to eat. Brown mushrooms right here, though. Tasty. So let's get some of this stuff in me. Yep, we could eat two. Hey, no. Nope. That was a fail. But it looks like this room is an end, which is what I want. I want these caves to end. Actually, no. It goes up here. More mushrooms. 
strangely luminescent mushrooms. It goes up. Restock on coal a bit. One thing I learned, you can never have enough torches in the open world map. I had four stacks and it still wasn't enough at all. Not even close. Not even another four stacks. But see, all this extra cave for just one? That's a lot. Mob drops I went are creepers, and that's it, so I could get skellies. But this room keeps going on and on. Should have started mob fights. But I don't want to just leave this cave just in case there is something important in here. It quite possibly is. Alright. That's a dead end. A skelly and a creeper. Taken care of and puffs itself ex XP. I'm now, you know, less red than brown, which is good. I hate chopping down brown huge mushrooms. I don't know why, it's just something about them being super tall. But all these extra ones helps out with that. So down here. See things like this I think is why I added this super pick. But don't expect it in my map. My map's gonna be super hard. And that's not an exaggeration. I think it's gonna be very hard. I'll try to avoid bedrock fog though, in most areas. Because I've seen how noxious it could be in all areas. It goes down and up. Hopefully the up's a dead end. Yep, dead end. Cool. I like dead ends. They mean I could turn around and go back. And then I'm done with the area. Mobs, 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 you're just in my way. Mm -hmm. 
This is a lot of mobs, though. There we go. Oh! That zombie didn't even get a chance to get a one hit in. Yeah, I'm just passing over all of the... All the supplies. There's another skelly around here. Another lake. With red fog. Ooh. I'll take that. Back up to 15. I put some away. Oh, that scared me. Just lit up all of a sudden. I put some away at my skelly trap. Oh, that's right. Oh, I don't have the books. Dang. Actually, I don't want them to blow up. I want the gunpowder. Ten. Cool. It's two TNT right there. We'll eat when we need two mushroom stews. This is a dead end. It's perfect. More diamonds. Four more at least. Wait. What's up there? Dead ends. Dead ends. All right. Is that a path up there? Where do you come from? Instant staircase, just like that. Okay, this is a dead end. <sighs> yeah, these caves wear me out. Another reason why there wasn't a video in this for a while. Actually, I want to do something. First off, that. And get rid of those. Get out of here. We need two of these. Let's do that first. Something to get rid of. I don't need dirt. 
Feast. Then light it up. This isn't going how I expected it to. At all. I had to interrupt their fighting, apparently. Dead end. Crazy huge dead end, but dead end. Let's get out of here. Speed. Oh, yeah. Speed potions are the best potions, I think. Where do I have to go? Up here, I think. Yep, up here. Oh, my potions wore off, I think. Yep, potions off. Still a lot of mobs down here, but still decent enough to see. I think there's just one more path. Which is not up here, correct? Nope. But one more path and then this cave is finished. Nope, it's finished already. Cool. I'm out of here. Alright. This cave is episode 4. I appreciate you watching this series. Hope you're enjoying it. I am. I am enjoying this map. It's cool. Fun. And thanks for watching. This is Dungaunt. See ya.